Okay, uh, another thing that I think could be helpful, you can see right here that all of our um, stats are on separate lines. So now that we have the power to redraw our inspector however we want, we don't need this whole line for health and speed and damage. Maybe we could put all these things on a single line. Like I think that could be pretty beneficial. So uh, let's talk about a few simple layout functions that we can do. Specifically, we're gonna do a horizontal and we're gonna put these all on one line. Inside of my code, this is where we are. We want to redraw these three things and put them all in one line. We just want to squash them in, smaller boxes, uh, smaller labels and whatnot. So right here, I'm going to do uh, something called begin. Oh, sorry, it's editor GUI layout dot begin horizontal, okay? Anytime we begin a horizontal, we also need to end it somewhere. So let's go down here and we'll say editor GUI layout dot end horizontal. There's also a, a begin vertical and end vertical too, if you want to do that. But anything that we put between here will try to fit on a single line. So we have these things here. Okay, so we're going to move our label on the line above, firstly. Then we're going to begin horizontal. Not sure if the help box will cause a problem. I think it's fine. Let's take a look. All right, you can see it doesn't really have enough room to draw this stuff. Yeah, we can't even see our damage. Uh, so part of the problem here is that our label width is really wide, right? Like we, we don't really need that much space. Maybe there are situations where we would, but we can actually control the label width, which is what I wanted to show you. But it's already starting to draw things on one line. And you have to consider like what, what will designers typically have this window at? Um, so let's go in here and can access editor GUI layout. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not that. It's GUI utility dot label width. And you can actually change this and we'll change it on the next label. I have 70 here. That was a pretty good value. Let's save it and try that. Okay, here, you, you can already start to see, right? Like we still need a little bit more room, but you know, that's fine. Like we, we could shorten the label. If we're really trying to push that many things on a single line, we have to give somewhere. We could, you know, have it over, but maybe that's important and maybe we don't want to do that. So we could do begin horizontal. Maybe we just put the first two on one line, right? Maybe the damage is on its own line. We could do that, save it. Just to show you how you could customize the stuff a little bit. That's just one example. You can use uh, horizontal. You can start to crush this down into a little bit, you know, smaller pieces of data. Uh, there's probably ways to shorten this too, but you know, it's, it's not super important to me right now. Uh, if I had a fourth stat, I could put that on a line too. All right, scales properly, at least as well as we would expect. Uh, still hides when we want. Still get our indentation. So yeah, pretty cool. Just want to show you a little the horizontal layout and. You can actually do some other ones. There's some other uh, layout things um, in the script. So I would recommend that you poke around if you're wanting to try and do a certain kind of thing, you could. This is just a starting point.